Hi everyone, this lesson is on three different findings we can see in thyroid cancer. So these are going to be findings we can actually see with our own eyes. So some of these findings we'll see on the skin and other parts of the body. Before we talk about those three findings, let's discuss what thyroid cancer is and some risk factors for getting in. So thyroid cancer is a cancer of the thyroid gland. And the thyroid gland is an endocrine gland located in the anterior of the neck. So it's going to be a gland in the front of the neck. And it's an endocrine gland, meaning that it produces hormones like thyroid hormones. There are four main types of thyroid cancer, and they are the following. Papillary thyroid cancer, follicular, medullary thyroid cancer, and anaplastic thyroid cancer. Now, thyroid cancers account for about 1% of all cancers, and there's a higher incidence in females compared to males. So there's going to be three females with thyroid cancer for every male who has thyroid cancer. And the incidence peaks in the third and fourth decades of life. And some of the more common findings we can see in thyroid cancer include dysphagia. So this is a problem swallowing. So it'll feel like you can't quite swallow properly or it gets a little caught in your throat. So you can imagine that if there's a thyroid cancer and that cancer is growing, it can start to press on surrounding structures in the neck. And some of these can include the esophagus. So this is why we can have problem swallowing. And we can also see voice hoarseness occurring in some patients with thyroid cancer. Again, you can imagine that thyroid gland getting larger and larger in size due to that cancer. And then that cancer can press on the vocal cords. This is the reason why we can get voice hoarseness. Now let's talk about those three findings we can see in thyroid cancer. One of them is a neck lump or mass. So this totally makes sense. If we have a thyroid cancer, we're going to have a growth on the thyroid. So we get a thyroid nodule and we can actually see this on the neck. And again, this is all due to the growth of the cancerous mass, which can be visible and palpable or felt. And the characteristics with regards to this mass are that it's going to be hard, fixed, and non-tender. So it's not going to cause any pain when you touch it. And there can also be neck swelling in some cases as well. Another finding we can see in some patients with thyroid cancer is Horner syndrome. So this is going to be due to mass effects from the thyroid cancer that compress on the sympathetic chain. So certain sympathetic nerves that run up the neck, if we get a cancerous mass that impinges or disrupts those sympathetic chain nerves, we get a nerve compression. So this can cause issues with those nerves functioning properly. So we're going to get certain signs and symptoms, including meiosis. Meiosis is going to be a constricted pupil. So if you look in this image here, this pupil should be larger than it is. We can also see anhydrosis, which is decreased absent sweating, and it's going to be on the same side of the face, the ipsilateral side of the face that involves the constricted pupil. And we can also see ptosis, which is a drooping of the eyelids. So we're going to see all of these findings on the same side of the face, and it's again going to be due to that nerve compression. And a way to remember these signs and symptoms of Horner syndrome is MAP, M-A-P, meiosis, anhydrosis, and ptosis. And another finding we can see in some cases of thyroid cancer is facial flushing. So this is going to be specifically something that can occur in medullary thyroid cancer. And the facial flushing is going to either be persistent, so patients will just look redder than usual, or it'll be episodic where it comes and goes. And those episodes will have no known triggers, and it's going to be new for the patient. So the patient will not have had this type of flushing in the past. It's something new. They start to have these episodes or persistent facial flushing, and it can be due to medullary thyroid cancer. And the reason that this occurs in medullary thyroid cancer is because these particular tumors produce excess calcitonin, which can cause vasodilation in the face. And calcitonin can also be associated with diarrhea. So we get high, high levels of calcitonin, and this is going to lead to particular findings we can see. And one of those is going to be a vasodilation or a flushing in the face. And the flushing can not just occur in the face, but it can also occur on the neck and the chest as well. So those are three findings in thyroid cancer. Please check out my other lessons on thyroid cancer. If you want more information on how it's diagnosed and treated, please also consider joining as a member for members-only content. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. And as always, thanks so much for watching and hope to see you again soon.